Hi guys, it's Miss Shop Slot and welcome to my channel. I have a haul today, lots of designer bags. Uh, I'm actually in the middle of working on a vintage Epi Louis Vuitton bag and inside is sticky and gross and I've washed my hands a million times and I still have black stuff. It is a very long, tedious, dirty process, but hopefully I will get the sticky out of the lining and be able to use this dang thing soon enough. But until then, I wanted to get a video out and we will start over here and we'll put that, oops, 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 we'll put that there, we'll do clothes. Uh, first thing, every girl needs a dark blue jean jacket, which I have like seven, so I have to get rid of some of those. Uh, maybe I'll do a giveaway on my Facebook group for a jean jacket for spring. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Uh, so if you're not part of my Facebook group, head on over and join. We have a lot of fun over there, lots of informative ladies and gentlemen, and we talk about purses, show what we got. Some people sell their stuff. It's not a sales site, but it's a lot of fun. So that being said, I got this white jean jacket from the limited for six dollars and 39 cents just a white jean jacket i believe i already have one so i think i'm going to distress one of them uh this next item actually came in a bag but i'm using the bag for something else right now and it is this foldable packable michael kors jacket it's a super pretty blue. My lights are falling apart over here. Okay. It is a super pretty blue. And I paid $13, but it was half price day at Savers. So I got it for whatever, $6.50. And it is cinched at the waist with zippers. And I'm going to throw this in the wash and send it to my daughter in New York City. She doesn't really need, I mean, it's cold there right now, but usually it's not that cold. All right. So she doesn't need super heavy jackets all the time. Next, I bought this Rebecca Mink Off dust bag for $1.48. And I have the perfect bag that I'm going to use this for. Next one I got on eBay, but I needed it. It is a authentic Louis Vuitton huge dust bag. I needed it for my 45 duffel bag. So I paid $15, 12 or $15 for this. So that was a really good deal. And I saw someone online making pillows out of the Louis Vuitton dust bags and other designer dust bags. So I was like, oh, that's such a cute idea. Whether or not I'll get to that, I have no idea because this uh, fixing Louis Vuitton bags has taken my time and all of my patience. It is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Some of it is. Some of it is ridiculously time-consuming, tedious work. But I will do a couple videos to show you what I'm working on. I already have a video in the process now of two bags that I took to the cobbler to have fixed. That's going to be a whole nother video. So next I got this Gucci sunglass case. It's perfect condition. I have a couple pairs of Gucci and one of the cases I have is just terrible condition. So... I bought that for myself and that was a dollar. I picked up, you guys know I love my soaps, <laughs> uh, this Trader Joe's Tea Tree Oil Pure Vegetable Soup. Two bars. This was 79 cents. I usually put, I'm going to try this for me. I usually use the Bath and Body Works stuff, but I feel like it dries my hands out so bad. 
So I might just use that for me and then for company they can use the squishy soap because I know it's kind of gross to use someone else's soap. At least I'm kind of skewed up by that. My soap's my soap. <laughs> um, the next item was this. Now I bought one for myself. I bought one for my husband and now I'm going to send this one to my daughter. It is the Claire Sonic Mia 2. I paid $5.39. It came with extra heads because obviously you don't want to use somebody else's. So there is three heads in there. Then it came with the charger and the carrying case. So that was a really good deal for $5. I love these things. Um, my daughter wanted one, so now I will send her this with the two new um, heads, three new heads. And then she could just buy her own after that. So, oh, it had four heads. It's a one-year supply. But I don't know if the one that's on there has been used, so I'm just going to tell her to just throw it away. Or I'll just throw it away and send it, send it without it, because I don't know if it was used and I don't want to take that chance. Again, skeevy. Okay, purses now. We got wallet first. I got this Coach Passport wallet. It was $1.99 at Savers. So, as I've said in the past, I have a love-hate relationship with Savers. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're horrible. I haven't found much, but I went a couple times and found a few things. So they are my video. So yes, this is this is either for your passport or it's for credit cards. I'm not really sure. So I picked up that up for two dollars. This is this cute little red bag. Leather. And it is Jack Rogers, which is an expensive brand. Uh what does it say? Italian leather, and this was five dollars. I have a Jack George, I think it's yeah, I have a Jack George's suitcase that originally was like 800. So it's a cute little bag, cute for going out on the town. This next bag needs to be cleaned. I'm going to use saddle soap on it, it's brand new, but it must have, I think think that's patina like that green stuff that happens to leather over time or brass this is a Michael Bianco harness collection it was originally 80 marked down to 40 I paid five it's really super soft leather again it just has this little bit here I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm guessing it's made out of the same stuff saddles are made out of because it's the harness or harnesses because it's the harness collection. This is the inside with the little postcard, but it's such a cute bag and for a crossbody and the leather is just so amazing soft. So I'm going to clean that up and... I know people have been asking where I list. Um, I do sell a lot of stuff local. I do sell on the local sites. I do sell a lot of stuff on Facebook Marketplace. I do post some on Poshmark. I will link below. And yeah, I have clients now. Like I've been doing this for so long that I have clients now and I know when I pick something up, I know that they're going to want, you know, this specific client's going to want that. So certain things never even make it online or on any websites because I have clients already for those. And yeah, <laughs> so I will link it below. I do sell some stuff on the Facebook group. Um, so next I got this big old leopard print coach. It is super cute. It does have a little bit of issues with the handle that needs to be cleaned. I may... One of my best friends is a cheetah print lover. So I may clean these handles and give this to her. Or I may um, dye the handles and the trim 
black because it does have some wear and she's really super picky so I'm not really sure yet and I paid eight eight dollars for this I think it'll look nice with the black handles so I might do that let me know what you think do I try it? well first I'm gonna try to clean it up but it's that really I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it clean but I might so I'm gonna try to clean it up first if not I'm just gonna dye the handles in the trim black and I think it'll be pretty so again that was a coach tote for eight then this now I I bought this a few a few back um, it was stuck somewhere and I didn't realize it I normally will not buy this style of coach this is leather so I kind of took the chance it's really hard to sell this style bag in the um, signature print I've bought a couple and they just don't sell I paid $5.39 now some people here's what's here's what's funny is some people will say I sell long champ long champ all the time and I usually get top prices for it and then I know some people that don't sell them can't sell them at all or they don't get very much I cannot sell certain coach bags and certain things I cannot I just can't sell and it's weird because some people say that like they'll be like oh you can sell those those never sell for me and then I'll say the same about something that they sold so it's just a weird process I guess so long story short I paid what well, I don't even remember what I said I paid for this 539 all leather coach all leather is classic the signature print is becoming obnoxious but I did see that on the runways for spring that it's all about logo mania so maybe these might make their comeback so anything that you have that is logo crazy Gucci Fendi Louie any of that they're all about it right now so this is a coach. I paid $11 for this at Savers. And the only reason I did so was because it is in really good condition. It is a nice style bag. It has nice color. It's a crossbody. The leather and canvas are both in really, really good condition. The inside is in perfect, clean condition. And again, this was 11 Now, this next bag, I am a sucker for painted leather bags and fringe and if you put them together I am in love this was seven dollars and it's a hand painted purse with fringe I did however realize that there must have been fringe going down both sides and somebody cut it off but it is still super duper cute and this was $6, and it is by <laughs> Biachi. I'm just going, I'm just going to leave that alone. Genuine Leather, U.S., Canada. Super cute. I know this will do well with my boho, hippie, hipst hipster. I don't want to say hipster, but that crowd this is a really cute hand painted bag now this is a matte and matte i don't know messenger bag right yeah messenger bag i've only found a couple matte and matte and sometimes i don't like the style that they are this was four dollars so I was like you know what um I'll take a chance it has this inside pocket here and of course it's vegan leather this is polyurethane I don't know why they call it vegan leather oh this is actually made out of a hundred percent recycled bottles that's cool Matt and I, I actually like this maybe not I'll keep it I don't know this is the inside really good condition this is the back. I just need to take a lighter or razor. I don't 
say, think that you should just do lighters unless you're you're willing to take that chance. But usually when something like this, I will just take a lighter and it burns all those little fuzzies off. But again, it is at your own risk. If you burn your bag, you can't come back and say, well, Miss Shopsalot, you said. My advice first is to use the shutter, shutter, sweater, saver, shaver. Second, a regular shaver, razor, or fire. Just a tip that I learned on certain things, I will use the fire. All right, and last but not least, whoop. Thrifted, when I say I thrifted online, it could be from Mercari or Poshmark or Facebook Marketplace or Let Go, Offer Up, any of the local apps. So I don't say just thrifting is not going to a thrift store. It's anytime you're buying used secondhand or not retail. Doesn't have to be used necessarily. So that being said, I picked up this gorgeous 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 Michael Kors tote she is brand new uh I paid I also bought some makeup from her as well still brand new still has I believe it has a price tag in there somewhere oh yeah price tags it is a medium oxblood teasy voyager tote so it has this inside pocket here. Then it has two pockets there. Stuffing. It has a laptop. I don't think this would fit a laptop, but it would definitely fit like an iPad sleeve. And then this big pocket here, this open pocket here, and then a bunch of little tiny slip pockets there. And I paid $75 for this. Now, I think that's still an amazing deal. It's not 20 or five, but $75. This bag is still in the Michael Kors store. So I paid 75 for it and I love her. Look how pretty she is. So pretty. And I bought a matching wallet to her before. I have the matching wallet and I also have her in red. I bought this last year and I haven't used it yet, but <laughs> I paid 40, 40 freaking dollars for this one. They're the same color. I love that ox blood. And this one was brand new as well. Not the same person, but this still had the tags for $358. I think it was a jilted lover situation um not really my problem <laughs> I actually had a guy that had broken up with his girlfriend and she di didn't take the Louis Vuitton bags that he bought her and I wish I had the money he had the he had he had a never full but the special edition one and he had a speedy and I think he wanted 1500 it was an amazing deal but I just didn't have it and they were brand new still had the tags I told him I was like just take it back I think they should they'll return it I don't know he never used it but that's neither here nor there if I break up and you do some dirt I'm selling your shit too <laughs> my husband already knows so he he's a good guy so I don't have to worry about that but anyways enough rambling if you are still here, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. I am working on a fixer upper video in the meantime, but I wanted to get another haul up for you guys. So as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Go check out my Facebook, uh, Facebook page, my Instagram, and I will link my Poshmark below. Take care, guys. Bye.